Hi, I'm Dr. Molly with Your Goals Physical Therapy. And I just wanted to talk today about foot pain. So some people suffer from foot pain that starts the first thing in the morning when they first take the step, um, like they first get out of their bed. Um, and then some people that kind of progresses to pain with every single step they take throughout the day. Um, so that can, it can also be where maybe you, you sit for a while and then you go to stand and it's the same thing that you get in the morning where your feet just feel like they're too stiff to, to actually make a step and it takes several steps for you to warm up so that you can keep going. Um, which is unfortunate because of course, no matter what, we always have to walk, um, at least a little bit, even here in Houston. And so sometimes when you go to the doctor, they give you cortisone shot or they, tell you to wear this big bulky night brace um, and there's for some people that's great and it does exactly what they need it to do and it, it gets rid of their pain and they they go on but for some people this foot pain sort of festers and they begin to think that this is just gonna be the way that their life is and they will just constantly always have this foot pain um, throughout their day so even though they've changed shoes and even though they've uh, they've changed other aspects of their life um, they've taken cortisone shots, they take over-the-counter medication, um, nothing really seems to help. So I just wanted to send out this message to say that there is completely a whole lot that you can do to help take back your life and not be limited by this very annoying, very debilitating foot pain. So many times it's called plantar fasciitis. So the plantar fascia, right? So what, what's actually happening is that that tissue is getting irritated. So it's a matter of figuring out why it's getting irritated. Cortisone shots help get rid of kind of the symptom. They get rid of the inflammation around that tissue being irritated, but it doesn't really answer the question as to why. So in this video, I wanted to give you kind of my five suggestions for how to treat that starting at your home and then event and, and then actually find out the exact reason why so my five suggestions for how you can start treating at home without medication um, treating your foot pain is this first first thing in the morning right before you're gonna get up I want you to really wrench your ankle back and then point your toes so you're really trying to pull your whole ankle towards uh, towards your you know your nose or towards your head and then point them. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna loosen everything up. It's gonna stretch out your calf, it's just gonna loosen your whole foot up. It's really gonna help you with those first couple steps. So it may not get rid of all the pain, but it should at least help make that morning first step not feel like you're standing on um, stabbing knives, right? My second suggestion is either throughout the day or at least at the end of the day, find one of those water bottles like a regular 12 ounce or 16 ounce water bottle throw it in the freezer and then roll your foot on top right so you're just going to place the ball uh, the bottle on the floor and you're just going to roll now some people get really aggressive with that and that can actually cause some irritation it's just supposed to be gentle you're just trying to relax some things so digging even harder actually can make your symptoms worse so kind of counterbalance what you're doing. It's just a gentle rolling over, kind of like if you had a really nice light foot massage, right? But it's just with this ice bottle and it's just to get rid of the inflammation so that it's not so painful when you walk. Um, so then my fourth um, suggestion, is, or sorry, third suggestion, is to wear comfortable and kind of supportive shoes, right? Sometimes when you wear flip-flops, or really nice high heels, sometimes that can actually make things worse. Um, now, if you're noticing that heels are more comfortable for you, then maybe wear, maybe wear like a short heel um, instead of flats, because for some people, that can be the difference in having a miserable day and having a good day. Um, and then, the big thing with that is, and it goes into my fourth suggestion, which is that you should stretch your calf muscles. So stretching the back of basically where your shin is, you should stretch that back, the back muscle. So it's really trying to stretch out your ankle because that's going to help take the pressure off of that, the fascia on the bottom of your foot. Okay. Um, but truthfully, my fifth suggestion is probably the thing that's going to help you eliminate everything. And that is to have a trained professional, like a physical therapist 
watch the way that you walk because that is how you're going to find out the reason why your fascia is being irritated, right? So why is the bottom of your foot trying to stretch itself out when it's not supposed to do that? So that could be something going on, on your foot. I mean, oftentimes people with flat feet, you know, they, they have problems, but sometimes that problem comes and goes. So their foot's always been the same. Why is it they have good seasons and bad seasons for their foot pain, right? So what, what's the problem? And having a trained professional, having a physical therapist, watch the way that you walk and look at the whole dynamic from your hip on down to your foot can really help you enlighten as to what is happening in your body that is causing that. And then once you address that particular issue, or maybe it's a couple issues, but those things, then your foot pain will go away, right? So if you're walking funny or maybe something's happening at your hips that is causing you to hit the ground a little bit different, then that is what's gonna keep irritating it and no matter how many cortisone shots you get, no matter how expensive the orthotic is that you buy, if you're constantly hitting the ground in a way that's causing the bottom of your foot to have to stretch so that you can take that step, then it's just gonna consistently get irritated. And so that is the that to me is the way that you find out the answer to the why your foot pain is consistently happening and why it's just not going away. That persistent pain can go away. There's a reason for it. It's just a matter of finding out what that reason is and then addressing it, not just masking it with some medication or you know, maybe temporarily fixing it with an orthotic or something to that effect. So, so that is my suggestion, my five things on how to address your foot pain. So just a quick review. So try stretching your ankle first thing in the morning, right? So before you get out of bed, then second, try rolling your foot on top of a water bottle because that actually will help reduce some of the inflammation and hopefully your pain. Third, try to stretch your calves. So 30 second holds, a couple times a day, as much as it gives you the relief, right? So then the fourth is try to wear comfortable supportive shoes or the shoes that help you. So if that happens to be a heel with like a one or a two inch heel, of, you know, kind of a low heel, and that helps you because being flat footed is just killing you right now, then find a comfortable pair of, you know, one or two inch heels, okay? Normally it's not six inch heels that make you feel better, right? So then, th and then the fifth, and the most important is to have, and you can call Dr. Molly and I do a discovery session, it's free. We'll figure out what's going on and we'll give you a plan so that you know what, what, what kind of actions you need to do to go forward to help eliminate this pain. So have somebody have, a, that fifth thing is to have somebody watch you walk so that you know exactly what's happening either at your hip or your ankle that's causing this pain. That way you can eliminate it. Well, I hope all this information helps. You have a delightful day and talk to you soon.